Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Leaf Autographed Mini Football Helmets. It's an eight box case, it's a full case. Random team break number four, one spot gets you two teams. Um, all helmets ship. Big thanks to this group here for making it happen. I appreciate it. Let's double you up like Sir Mixlot. Uh, double up, uh, uh. Move on to the Kings game here. They fell to the Preds 4-2. Um, all teams, all 32 teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a six, ten times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After 10, Kevin down to chat. <laughs> yeah, all helmets ship, Joe P. All right, so that was after 10. Four and a six, 10 times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. No, vet helmets ship. Just paper helmets won't ship. Miami down to Cleveland. All right, Kevin, you have the Dolphins, Daniel with the Seahawks, Jeff with the Rams, Kevin with the Bears. Tim with the Broncos, Daniel with the Vikings, Adam with the Lions, Chad with the Cardinals, Joe P with the Eagles. Rex with the Packers, Devin with the Washington football team, Matt with the Colts, uh, Victor with the Steelers, Adam with the Bucks, Joe P with the Panthers, Jeff with the Falcons, Peter with the Jets, Stephen K with the Chargers, Rex with the Texans, Daniel with the Jaguars, Oliver last bought Mojo, Saints and Chiefs, Stephen K with the Giants, Daniel with the Niners, Matt with the Pats, Devin with the Bills, Ray with the Ravens, Tim with the Cowboys, Victor with the Titans, Peter with my Raiders, Raymond with the Bengals, and Chad with the Cleveland Browns. Now, trade at your own risk. Let's alphabetize this by team. Trade at your own risk because who knows what could be in here. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. And put your thinking caps on, too. Be right back. All right. Welcome back. Some trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here on Thursday the 6th. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Happy New Year to all. Hopefully this will be a successful year of, uh, of group breaking together. Appreciate it. So let's pop open this case. Let's see what we got here. Puts the name of the player on right on the top, so I think that'll be nice. All right, let's go to let's generally go to Wikipedia. All right, who am I? I am an active wide receiver in the NFL. Uh, drafted in the first round, late first round draft pick. I have a career: two hundred ninety-one receptions. 4,197 receiving yards, 14 receiving touchdowns, and 296, 269 uh, rushing yards. First round pick back in 2018. Went to Maryland. College at Maryland. Who am I? I feel like, I feel like my first year was okay. I feel like each year I've been getting better and better. If he gets a decent quarterback to throw to him, it might, might, be, might be even better. What day is today? Today is the 6th.
Not Diggs. I think Diggs has more more than 291 receptions. It's got a little bit more than that. Was Ike 2018? It's not Brandon Ike. He was a Maryland Terrapin from Philadelphia, born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Went to high school in Philadelphia. 24th overall. But there you go, Joe P. He got it. DJ Moore. Panthers, that's for you, Joe. It's a good-looking helmet. There you go, Joe. Appreciate you getting in. I think he's a decent receiver. I feel like he's a decent receiver. All right, Tim, Tim's gonna. Tim's watching in the car while the ice cream is melting. He said he's gonna make shakes instead. All right, next. All right, retired player. All right, retired defensive end, actor, and sports analyst. Played for 13 seasons. Played with one team my entire career. Currently 62 years old from Somerville, born in Somerville, Massachusetts. 6'5", 265. Went to Milford High School. Went to college at Villanova. Villanova produced a football player. Villanova. And drafted in 1981 in the second round. A Pro Football Hall of Famer. A Super Bowl champion. An eight-time Pro Bowler. An NFL Defensive Player of the Year in 1985. Part of the NFL 80s All-Decade Team. Career 84 sacks. 10 fumble recoveries. Two interceptions. Love this guy. This guy's great. All right, Oliver's got it. Joe P as well, a minute later. Howie Long. For the Raiders. Nice, nice silver and black helmet. Went to my first Raiders game at Allegiant. They beat the Broncos. Fun game. Great stadium. Definitely want to go again. When would I go? When would I be able to go again? I guess they're, they, if they make the playoffs, I don't think they're ever going to have home field advantage. So I guess uh, I guess ne my next trip to Legion will be the 2022 season. All right, that's for you, Peter. Peter Eng had my Raiders. Next up. So we had active, retired, and active college helmet. But he's only played for one team his entire career, so he should be should be okay. 24 years old from Bedford, Texas. Um, went to Allen High School in Allen, Texas. Played for one team my entire career. I don't know what I could say to not give this away too early. 69 touchdowns to 34 interceptions currently in my career. 11,240 passing yards. 1,751 rushing yards. That's probably going to give it away. 20 rushing touchdowns. Two-time Pro Bowler. NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. A Heisman Trophy winner. Number one overall pick. Five ten, two oh seven. The five ten, I feel like, is pretty generous according to Wikipedia. Yep, Joe P's got it. Kyler Murray in his Oklahoma gear, so that'll go to the Cardinals. Chad Tucker. Wikipedia says 5'10". He's not 5'10". 
feel like he's like my height. Maybe he is 5'10", I don't know. So that's in his Oklahoma gear, of course. There's the Beckett sticker, the authenticity card. Maybe this one doesn't have one. Hmm. Oh, the sticker's still there. All right, Chad with the Cardinals. He's like 5'6", bro. I don't know why Wikipedia says 5'10". Is he really listed as 5'10"? Wait, hold on. Let me go to profootballreference.com really quick. Yeah, I mean, I guess that must be his listed... That's what the team lists him as. Officially, 5'10", 207. Rex says that really looks like a Packers helmet. Well, Rex did admit beforehand he's not he's not the most knowledgeable about football. All right. Retired player. Combine measurement was used 5'10"? Very generous. All right. Who am I? Retired. Uh, American football player, defensive end, played for one team my entire career, stood at 6'4", 245 in my play. I'm, I'm assuming that's my playing height and weight, not my height and weight at 71 years old. Uh, went to Florida for college, drafted in 1971, late first round pick, played for one team my entire career, seven-time pro bowler, two-time NFL sacks leader, uh, part of the 1970s all-decade team. Have one, I have 151 and a half career quarterback sacks, 10 fumbles recovered. Pro Football Hall of Famer, College Football Hall of Famer. Not Leroy Selman, not Deacon Jones. Play for the Rams. That will be for Jeff Rogers, if that gives it away. Play for the Rams from 1971 to 1984. Los Angeles Rams. I always say this when, when we pull this player. We pull him a lot, actually. But you often see his jerseys still around town here in L.A. Still see his jerseys around town, especially on, on Sunday game days here in L.A. There you go. Adam's got it. Jack Youngblood. The Beckett sticker here. There's the card. It's for Jeff and the Rams. Doku saying Kurt Warner. No, Kurt Warner is A, not 71. And B, not a defensive end. Good try, though. All right. Next player. Thirty-eight-year-old running back, five-nine, two-twelve. I guess it says he's a free agent according to Wikipedia because I don't think he's technically retired yet. I'm surprised no one really picked him up this season. Uh, went to college in Miami, drafted in 2005 in the third round. Played for one, two, three, four, five teams my entire career. Five-time Pro Bowler, national champion, 
16,000 rushing yards flat. He's pretty good. 81 rushing touchdowns, 484 receptions, 3,985 receiving yards, 18 rushing touchdowns. I even have one fumble return for a touchdown. That's right. Ray's got it. Jason's got it. Adam's got it. Kevin, Oliver, it's Frank Gore. Niners edition. Is he a Hall of Famer? <laughs> 0 one one boxing record, right. Some people say that just by longevity alone could be a Hall of Famer, but there you go. Nice one for the Niners. That'll be for Daniel Nelson. There you go, Daniel. Hall of Famer borderline, says Oliver. I don't know if he has a kid in the NFL. Looks like we have another retired player here. All right, I'm an old offensive guard. I'm still with us. 83 years old, 83 years young for this guy. 6'2, 258 in his playing days. Went to Georgia Tech, drafted in 1961 in the NFL draft in the 14th round. A lot of rounds. Played for one team my entire career from 61 to 69. An eight time AFL All Star. Seven-time All-AFL, two-time AFL champion. What else? Apparently, I was the prototypical pulling guard who, despite my size, held my own against much bigger defensive linemen like Ernie Ladd, Earl Faison, and Buck Buchanan. I'm the only player ever inducted to the Pro Football Hall of Fame without ever playing in the NFL. This team, along with the rest of the AFL, merged with the NFL the, the season following my retirement. <laughs> I was, a, this is my personal life section in, uh, in my Wikipedia page. I was inducted into the Hall, Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1999. During my speech, I forgot to thank uh, my wife. After taking pictures, he went back on stage and got on his knees and apologized. It is. I'd be surprised how many people would actually remember this guy. Billy Shaw. Buffalo! And that'll be for Devin. Wait, Ray, Adam, did you really get Billy Shaw or did you look this up? Or did you say it after I said it? I, that's got to be a Google. No way Adam remembers Billy Shaw from that information that I gave him. Unless he remembers the forgot his wife story. That might be, that might be it. Tim says his son's at Southern Miss. Brett Favre's old stomping grounds? That is not indicated in the Wikipedia page. We may need to make an addition. All right, two more to go. I, I do not remember this player. This must be an old school guy. 
Oh, right. Okay, he is. Um, American football, uh, retired American football linebacker. Played for two teams my entire career. Was a second round pick in the early 80s. A Super Bowl champion, a six-time Pro Bowler, and a four-time NFL forced fumbles leader. I had a career 1,173 tackles, 128 sacks, 8 interceptions, and 40 forced fumbles. Wow. Drafted in 1981, second round. Played for the Saints and the Niners. Kevin, what's breaking next? Nothing. What do you, it's up to you. What do you want to break next? Fill something up. Oliver, you got it. It's Ricky Jackson Saints edition, and that's for you. There's the Beckett sticker. I could have had a bigger autograph here. Let's use the canvas, Ricky. There it is. Cool looking helmet. Man, th those are some pretty incredible numbers, though. Yeah, played for the Saints from 81 to 93, and then from 94 to 95 with the Niners. Well, Jason says Google? I don't know, yeah. I, I feel like it was Oliver claims he remembers. Well, Kevin, we don't have that on the website. Just check the website, then you'll see what we can do. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. That's what we have on the website is what we have available. All right. Another retired player, a retired quarterback. Currently 65 years old. As a quarterback, I stood 6'3", 221. Played for one, two, three, four NFL teams my entire career and one CFL team. Went undrafted. He's from LA. Went to Alexander Hamilton High School. Was undrafted. Went to the CFL, then went to the NFL. Oh, is that too easy? <laughs> Jason, Oliver, Devin got Warren Moon pretty quickly. Yeah, went to the Edmonton Eskimos after being undrafted. Played with them from 78 to 83. Then to the Oilers. Then a, a couple of years with the Vikings. A couple of years with the Seahawks. A couple of years with the Chiefs before hanging them up. An NFL Offensive Player of the Year. NFL Man of the Year. Nine-time Pro Bowler. Two-time NFL Passing Yards Leader. A Touchdown Leader. <laughs> no, not Chiefs Edition, unfortunately. This is how we remember Warren Moon. As a Houston Oiler, which of course will go to the Tennessee Titans. There's the Beckett sticker right here. And he's got some great penmanship right there as well. Five time Grey Cup champion, Pro Football Hall of Famer, Canadian Football Hall of Famer. It's pretty good. Titans? Victor. Victor Zamora with the Titans. There you go, everybody. A nice break of uh, mini helmets in the books. I'm Joe. We'll see you next time for the next one. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.